In design series versions of Vectorworks, users will have the option File, Export, Export PDF. This is the supported, built-in version of PDF creation, as opposed to File, Print, Save as PDF on a Mac, or File, Print, Adobe PDF Printer on Windows. There are a few options in Export PDF that you will not be able to control if you instead try to use Print PDF. Rasterize Text. The Adobe PDF format does not support all font types that are compatible with Vectorworks. If this occurs, you would be able to print a file and have the font display properly, but when printing directly to a PDF, it would either not display the font at all, or the text would come in as random symbol. Enabling rasterized text will cause Vectorworks to convert the text objects to images first, which will then allow them to be visible in a PDF. With the export command, you have full control over what goes into your PDF. Unlike the file print versions of PDF creation, you can export the objects individually in their own layers and classes, instead of everything being exported as a solid, unmodifiable image. The main advantage of this is to be able to create a PDF with layers in it that you can enable and disable at will within the PDF itself, without needing to send them a full Vectorworks file and a Vectorworks viewer to see the indexing and proposed geometry or to peel away the layers of a drawing to focus only on the specific area of interest. This can make it easy to export a single PDF and distribute it to multiple recipients, allowing them each to view only what pertains to them. The export range sets what will be included in the PDF. The default option, export whole printable area as one page, is used when your page area is set to the size you wish the final PDF to be, Print to PDF is only capable of this option. All pages will create multiple PDF pages that will tile together to create a full image. Current view will export what is displayed in the drawing area. Its borders will be the same shape and size as you have this window stretched to, and what is included in your current camera's zoom level. These differences can have a dramatic effect on the clarity and usability of your resulting PDF and should always be taken into consideration before you send another file to a user or print shop.